Hey everyone, it's Josh, Jay Ventachon the Menis, or East Orlando, Florida. Uh, this video is going to be quick, just going to show how I split the case here. Um, you know, some methods would be, you know, use a razor blade and chase this line that the gasket and the center cases come together. But uh, right here we got a couple dollars worth of uh, hardware from local hardware store. Got a carriage bolt, a nut, uh, got a plastic... Uh, spacer or dowel whatever you want to call it and then I found a little snap-in cap that has the uh, round top on it that would let it fit uh, where I'm going to put it. I'm going to use the bore on the case and use this as a spreader, a basic little simple spreader and uh, get this case to crack open and then once you get a, a initial crack then you can come around and use a uh, gentle method to go around the case and get it to separate all the way around. What we got to do is uh, get our hardware that we're going to use to separate the case with. Just get your connecting rod pushed out of the way. And the reason I went with a carriage bolt, A, a it's got this uh, convex shape to it so it helps kind of follow the case. It's not that critical. And then uh, it's got this uh, square built-in hold point on it. So you're going to need two wrenches. So in my case, I'm going to use some vice grips. Just hold on to the uh, point on the carriage bolt that isn't rotating. Then we got our loose nut. Got your spacer. So we'll go ahead and just get that up into the bore area on the case. And then I'm going to use a wrench to turn it and start spreading the case out. Alright, so we got some separation happening here already. That's what we're looking for, is just, just a little bit of the start of the separation. That's all we really need to do here. And then we can go around the case and just kind of give it a little bit of a lift. And then we'll get this entire case to start pulling and we're good to go. Alright, so I took this concept one step further with uh, I just took an old screwdriver and welded it to the carriage nut at a slight angle so that it can sit inside the bore and also clear the studs uh, that way I'm able to hold handle keep it in position and then just use the wrench to turn the nut to, to uh, separate the case um, so again I think this is a nifty tool it's less than a few bucks maybe a dollar fifty at max um, go ahead and gets this case split as opposed to using a razor blade and chasing the gasket line across the whole case. Because once you get that split, that's your starting point, and then you can start to use a little bit of leverage gently and start getting the case to crack completely. Uh, this stuff is basic hardware. Uh, I'll list what I use. I got it from an Ace Hardware, but uh, most, most hardware stores or uh, box stores for uh, like Lowe's or Home Depot probably sell everything. Uh, that you need. But uh, in the summary page, I'll put all the parts and pieces and the sizes that I used. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully, this helps you guys out.